Alright, well, I let this sit a while and sure enough the oil got into every little uh, nook and cranny there, so uh, that's, that's good. Um, didn't have to add any more. So that can go on the carburetor as soon as the carburetor's back on the bike again. Uh, so let's see what else. Um, got this part primed and and baked, <laughs> and this fellow. Um, had the uh, primer, the color, and the clear coat, and it got baked as well. So it's all done, ready to go. Uh, let's see. I cleaned this up and uh, just put clear coat on it. Uh, same clear coat that's on here, so just no primer or color. So we'll see how that uh, holds up and went to the hardware store and found some shorter uh, shorter screws here so these um, the idea is these won't stick out near as far as those and there are six of them so So we're just about ready to get that uh, muffler put back together. In the meantime, I got a little science experiment going here. This is the uh, rust remover, and what I'm trying to rust remove is ah, a uh, section of the old chain. Uh, not that I'm going to reuse it as a chain, but I'm thinking that um, I'm thinking of turning this into a tool to make the uh, to hold the uh, small drive sprocket still so that I can turn that big bolt that holds it on. Um, I have an idea for that. It's kind of ex inspired by those uh, rubber um, those big rubber band wrenches or those uh, sometimes they're made out of um, oh, some kind of a fabric anyway those types of things um, I also fa I found the uh, the master link here it's around somewhere yeah it's in there somewhere but anyway, so this has only been in here for an hour or two, and it's already a heck of a lot better than it was. Um, so I'm just going to keep on soaking it. Mostly because it's really annoying to have that, um, to, to just be getting all rusty every time I pick it up. But also, uh, I'm hoping that by getting the rust off and oiling it up a little bit, it'll loosen up the links. Anyway, so that's soaking. I'll give that another hour or two or well however long it needs really so you get that little round nut back on this guy um, so let's see the uh, The muffler is going to sit like that, right? And then we want the 
this hole to line up with that hole. Okay, where'd it go? There it is. So sitting straight like that. Um, well, the super trap's going to sit to one side or the other, the label is. So that's interesting. I think it might look better if it's like this. So we'll put the uh, the hole nearest the peas into the uh, next to the hole that where the nut fell off. So let's try that. all go together however however they want to and then this sits on top of those so we'll start with that That one right there, for whatever reason, or just file it, if I have a file that small. sort of a weird thing, but anyway,
and let's see how it So this one is one of the one. So down here. Okay, that's fine, it's a go. Something's not right here, because uh, no matter how tight I make these, this is still flopping around. So oh, I think I got the last one on upside down. Ah. Much better. Look at that. It actually fits now. <laughs> okay, so try that again.
Okay, well, that's it. Next. That's it. Our really great Super Trap muffler is uh, ready to go back on the bike. Yay! Okay, well, here is the results of the chain soaked in acid remover, or uh, rust remover, and then I went ahead and uh, doused it with uh, WD-40 and let it sit for a few days. I meant to only do it overnight, but, so here's the master link clip. That turned out really well. So here is the master link. Anyway, the thing I'm really interested in, <laughs> so you can see it continues to have rust in it, even after soaking in acid and WD-40. But all of these links are moving around good. Hopefully, this will uh, make a good future tool. Ah, this glove's about done. Another thing is I got in the mail today an actual real live um, repair manual so this one's uh, made by climber I found this on eBay it still had the shrink wrap around it but it's so old that the shrink wrap was deteriorating but this has all sorts of cool stuff in it. I already learned that that little rubber cap thing on the uh, master cylinder rebuild kit that I wasn't sure where it went. Um, this has a blow-up diagram that actually shows where it where it's supposed to go. 
did a little reading on timing. Uh, according to this, the CID bikes uh, have special bolts in place so that you can't adjust the timing unless you drill out and replace those special bolts with something more standard. Um, and, you know, something. this guy has something that I have never seen before. And that is a performance improvement section where they talk about modifying the shocks and getting different tires. They actually have a little section here on super trap mufflers. <laughs> uh, they suggest what kind of carburetor you might replace it with. Um, and also they discuss getting rid of the uh, air box and putting a K&N air filter on there. So that's kind of, that's, that's really interesting. I've never seen a repair manual have that before, although it does say service repair and performance. So, so I need to figure out what to do next.